I mean, they got a lot of offensive rebounds. Um, leave it at that. They play where well, they got 50 50 balls. I thought we played hard, but, you know, we didn't get a lot of 50 50 balls in there. You know, they made runs, their crowd got in it, and late in the game, we just didn't, didn't get those stops needed. So we got early foul trolls, and Georgia and Kibber did too. What effect did that have on you guys? I mean, that's our three bigs right there. So, I mean, sides out. I mean, we played well to the end of the first half. I mean, we was up seven. We weathered the storm, but second half, we didn't get no stops. I mean, we came out playing like we was the last team in the league. We didn't have, we didn't have that urgency. I mean, uh, but it's all good. Um, the team knows that stake. Um, we lost this one. I mean, of course, we want to win a big team championship, but I mean, we on to the next life. We got to um, play the old cards that's dealt. I mean, now uh, we lost this one, so we just get ready for Iowa. Try to win that. We'll win that game. Get a double bye, and then um, we'll see. Uh, we'll see these teams um, in the Big Ten tournament for sure. Second half seemed like every ball screen, two guys are coming at you. What do you guys got to do to combat that and take advantage of that? I mean, I felt like, um, yeah, they were. Coach Holman, they made an adjustment. They were um, sending two at me, and I was been making a right basketball play, putting it in a, my teammates in great position to score. And they had great look, just to go down at night. But I, mean, I believe they can make those shots. And um, it's going to be huge them making those shots, and then it just opens up the defense. But we had great looks, I thought. We got to knock them down. What do you think for these two teams getting so many more rebounds? I mean, what were they? I guess, how did they come up with those guys? I wouldn't say they got so many more rebounds than us. I mean, it was 35 28. It's just uh, the rebounds and the point of the game, they got them. They got them in a point where they're going to run, or maybe we're trying to fight back, and they, and they got those rebounds. Yeah, I wouldn't say like they really just out rebounded us like drastically, but they just got him at the crucial moments. I would say that. How do you reset coming home for a regular season finale and, and what you got to stay committed to? I mean, we know what I would be when we played that we went down there. We never forget. Uh, we know what's at stake. So you will just come out, um, get the win, try to have them play early game. Okay. You got four senior teammates that you're playing for on Sunday as well, right? Yeah, yeah. Tell me about that. Playing for them. Oh, playing for them. I mean, we all plan for the same goal, and that's just trying to get a, a double bye in the Big Ten tournament. I mean, why not go out in the last regular season home game for everybody to, you know, get the win? All things considered, Io. I mean, being without your bigs for the better part of the first half, leading at halftime, you guys had to feel like you were in a pretty good position. Great out. position. Great position. But I feel like we didn't get no stops. I mean, that, that, that game, I mean, this game, second half, shows you the importance of defense. Um, we didn't get no stops. I mean, it was just pathetic how we didn't get stops. Um, we just started to have, I mean, they came out 3-3, three, three, layup, layup, foul. We were just fouling. You know, we played, um, we didn't play right mentally. Um, we gave a lot of city plays. But we know what we can do to fix it. I mean, we're going to come out Sunday and try to get a win. That's all we can do at this point in the season. It's not, you can't out. You can't, you know, get into a funk. You got to just man up and just go on to the next one. You should easy enjoy playing in the I just like I like the other team arenas rims. I guess it just it just feel better. Um, but yeah, I mean it's fun playing the road because the whole arena is against you. Yeah. Is it easier to play with referees that you're familiar with and you know their style? I mean, I'm familiar with all the refs, so I don't really blame that. All the refs are good. They make calls. I mean, they're human just like us. Uh, we miss shots. They may miss and make a call. So I never get into a referee a referee battle. And I have respect for all the refs. So I'm pretty cool with all the refs. So if they make a questionable call to me, I just go and talk to them, you know, give them the respect they deserve. We have a lot of different lineups that you really haven't played with at the end of that first half. What did, what did you like about the way you guys had a different group out there but still managed to really play your ball? Next man up. We 12 deep, 13 deep, so whatever. Someone gets in foul trouble, the next man got to step up. I mean, I really don't care who's in the floor with me. I mean, we all one team, we all the same goal. So I, I never look at the face, I just look at whoever in the court, we go battle. How are you personally going to look at this last game in Champagne, knowing that in the offseason you all have a decision to make? 
I mean, I'm just going out trying to get a win. That's all you can do. Uh, not worry about the offseason. Trying to get a win. Uh, Dre has 11 rebounds and 11 assists today. What does it say about a guard to get a double double? Okay, say it again. Dre had 11 rebounds and 11. Yeah. 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 What does it mean to get a double double as a guard? What does that say? I mean, I say you play hard. You got you know, you know, rebound, play hard. Exactly. Uh,